Hey, this is Chris from Mobile Slice. Uh, I've been asked by a few people to do a um, to do a color correction tutorial based on the uh, episode of Throwing Knives for Campers I did uh, that was just put out a few days ago, and this response has been great. So I'm definitely happy to make a color correction for all of you all. Um, go ahead and bring whatever you have into Vegas for whatever you want on Terminal. Uh, the first advice I can give you is to try and find a spot that's um, got a lot of different colors and different amounts of light. Like you've got some on the inside there that's dark. You've got bright spots from the patch up there. You've got um, some medium spots behind the counter. You've got all the different colors of the map all in one place. And that's definitely, definitely an important thing. Uh, I would imagine most of you all know this, but whenever you bring in a clip onto the timeline, always go to Properties. You want to make sure that you've disabled the resample. You want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio. So you want to leave everything else alone. Make sure this is unchecked and make sure that you've disabled the resample. Then click OK. The first thing we're going to do with the color correction, let me get that open. I think it's this one. Yep. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go incredibly fast, but I'm definitely not going to go slow. I want people to, you know, keep interest in the video and be short and to the point. So let's let's get started right away here. The first thing I always start off with, no matter if it's After Effects or Vegas, is the color curves. Whenever you bring in anything, be it color curves, um, let's see here, color curves. Whenever you bring anything onto the timeline, always drag it in as reset to none. So that's what you want to bring down. You never want to bring down, well, I mean, you can try other ones. You can try the ones they've already given you, but they never are that great. So let's get rid of all this. I'm trying to keep the window to my right as large as possible so you guys can see. Anyway, first thing, color curves. First thing you want to do is uncheck show all channels. Click on this, go down to red. Pull the bottom curve of the red down slightly, not too much. Maybe uh, you almost can line it up with this cursor that you're checking it with there. The top one may be double what you did on the bottom, just under double what the bottom one is. The next thing you do is go to green. The bottom, similar to red, but not nearly as much. The top one, you definitely want to go pretty far with. That enhances purples and uh, blues, actually. The last thing you want to do for blue is just like the other ones, but make them even. You want the bottom to match the top pretty close. Okay. Again, if you need to see those again, just rewind the video. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. The second thing you want to do is the color correction. It's the primary color correction, not the secondary. Uh, pause the video, copy down the numbers, um, try them. This is a good place to start. If you want to change them, that's fine, but this is definitely an excellent place to start. So for low, the approach that I take is always a little bit to the blue and down to cyan. For the mids, straight out to the blue, maybe even a little towards the purple. For the highs, you want to go straight up towards the reds, the yellows, maybe a hint of purple, but the color, the numbers are all there for you to copy down. As far as glow is concerned, you might not have used glow, but it definitely works pretty well for Vegas. Copy down the numbers, the percents there, the intensity, everything's there for you. I know this looks peach, but it definitely doesn't turn out peach. Uh, the color numbers are down at the bottom for you to copy down. Just pause the video. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is brightness and contrast. Turn the brightness down to maybe, you know, minus nine one hundredths. Turn the contrast up to anything between 15 and 20 one hundredths. The contrast center, that one, that one's really, um, no matter what you do to it, it's not going to make that big of a difference. The more you go to the right, though, uh, the darker things get overall. It it kind of gives it a grainy, more of a green look. I usually stick around 0 0.65, 0 0.68, somewhere in there. Uh, almost done here. Saturation adjust. I definitely have no way to explain this. Copy down the numbers. Mess with it once you get them in there. It's just a good place to start. Okay, uh, for sharpen, it's the last thing you're going to do. Even though it only it starts you off at, at triple zeros, even point 0.1 makes a gigantic difference. It makes everything more crisp and more clean, uh, resulting in a, definitely a, a stronger video. So here we go. Here's the color correction. I'll jump around a little bit so you can see what it looks like in different places. Uh, everything is nice and defined. Even in the really dark situations, you can get some light. Let's see try and find some super dark see even the dark patches you can still see all the white everything looks pretty crisp except for some corners you if you want everything to be bright in all the corners you're gonna have to sacrifice certain other things so basically what my approach is always to try and find a happy balance with strong colors 
but not going too dark. When it gets when it comes time to render, uh, last thing I'm going to finish up with go to render as. You always want to pick uh, save as type as XDCAM EX. You might not have tried it before, but that's what I use for everything. You can see that's every one of my final renders comes out as that. Uh, template, drag down to HQ 1280-720 at 60 frames. I know it says 60, but it's actually 59.94. And at 35 megs, the files aren't gigantic. They're not actually 35 megs a second, but they're maybe half that, maybe a little under half. Again, that's XDCAM EX and 1280-720 at 60 frames. And normally you would click save, uh, but I don't need to render this out. So I think that's about it. If you have any other questions, um, comments, or anything you that I missed or anything you want cleared up, Definitely just drop a comment and I'm happy to help you. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.